Drag Story Hour is back at the Queens Public Library in Jackson Heights today. In the past, it's brought out big groups of protesters, but today that wasn't the case. Fox 5's Chris Welch was out there for the program. Steve, Natasha, the supporters of Drag Story Hour today on this side of the street clearly outnumbering the protesters by about 100 to, I'd say, maybe a half a dozen at one point. We've got families, we've got LGBTQ allies all coming out in force with signs, noisemakers, music, all to voice their support for Drag Story Hour. There were fears leading into this today that we might see what we saw here at the end of December when supporters clashed with protesters. Some of those protesters at the time were members of the far right group, the Proud Boys, and some of them were even seen flashing white supremacist hand gestures and the Nazi salute. Now, Drag Story Hour is basically what the name suggests. Drag performers are reading books to kids. The Queen's Library's website describes it as a celebration of gender diversity. Supporters say it helps kids open their eyes to people from all walks of life. The more they experience, the more they see, the better judgments they can make about their own lives and about the world and about how to treat people and about how to have dignity. And if you don't understand that everybody deserves dignity, even those people across the street, then, you know, it's, it's going to be really tough to have the world going forward in some sort of eventual peace. You, you mentioned the people across the street. What's your message to them? Open your eyes, love more, fear less. And the NYPD has told us that one person was arrested earlier for reckless endangerment and they were removed. And City Council member Shekhar Krishnan, who funds Drag Story Hour here at the Queens Public Library, released a statement to us today saying, here in Jackson Heights, we show our children to stand up for each other. We teach them that all are loved. The love and joy taught by this program will always drown out the hate. We're in Queens tonight. Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.